Hey nerds, I'm doing a review of season two of Strange New Worlds, starting now. Welcome to the Nerd Social, I am Nathan. So, I got the first six episodes of Strange New Worlds, and I'm going to do a spoiler-free review of the first six episodes. The first episode is going to debut later this week on Thursday. I actually meant to get this out yesterday on the 12th, but I had to go to a press screening for The Flash, so our review of The Flash will go up probably on Thursday as well. All right, so as I said, I've seen the first six episodes. I am going to break this very short review down into a couple of sections and just give you some general information about the episodes without spoiling too much. I will talk about things that have been in the trailers. Also, if you haven't caught it, I spoke to Henry Alonzo Meyer, the co-show runner of the show. The interview is up there. I the link is up there. So I might reference some of the things that we discussed in that interview. So if you haven't seen the trio or if you haven't listened to that interview, you should probably go do that before listening to my thoughts about the first six episodes. So I'm going to break this down into just general information about the season, some cons and mostly pros. All right. First of all, like season one, most of the episodes focus on one or two characters and as Henry mentioned in the interview, they're still doing emotional arcs. They're not doing long story arcs. They're doing emotional arcs with the characters. So far, there has been a Lawn episode. There's been a Una episode. There's been a Mbanga Spock episode. There's been a Spock Chapel the Prank episode. And I discussed that love triangle with Henry in that interview as well. There are Klingons, as many have seen in the trailer for the season and they don't look like the discovery Klingons, even though it's supposed to be in the same era as discovery before discovery went to the future when speaking to henry about that he mentioned that it was a production decision and having seen the Klingons show up it's probably because there's so many Klingons in the process to do the Klingons from Discovery was to make an entire mask molded to the actor and there are too many Klingons to do that so that's probably why the Klingons look a little bit different. They don't look quite like the Klingons from TNG so don't look quite like Worf. It's a merging of what Worf looks like and what the Discovery Klingons look like. Alright so some cons. My main issue with the first six episodes and this is a small quibble is that some of the cliffhangers from season one resolved a little bit too quickly and neatly for my taste now, again, I've only seen the first six episodes. They might come back around or they might deepen those stories later on in the season with a seven, eight, nine, and 10, but I don't know because they only gave me the six so far. And for me, there isn't an episode as good as Memento Mori from season one yet. That being said, moving on to the pros, there are no weak episodes in the first six. However, last season, the weakest episode for me was the seventh episode. But again, I only had the first six episodes. So consider that. And although I don't think there's an episode as good as Memento Mori, I did cry at one of these episodes as it was in season one. You get more great sets, settings, and special effects. Everything is beautiful to look at on the screen, just like in season one. And the new cast members, or the additions to the cast. Carol Kane is a delightful addition to the crew. Of course, I still miss Hammer, but she's definitely a different pace. As Henry mentioned in the interviews, she's completely different. And Paul Wesley as a Kirk. If you've seen the trailer, he shows up this season. When he shows up, he's doing a great job. He's not impersonating William Shatner or Chris Pine, but his performance comes off very Kirk-esque. That's what I think about the first six episodes. Overall, very good. You won't be disappointed. So, as always, Thursdays, we're going to be doing breakdowns and reviews of the newest episodes. They will typically drop in the morning. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, again, if you haven't checked out the interview with Henry Alonzo Myers, you can check that out. Or I spoke to Bruce Hora, the actor who plays Hammer, as well. You can check out that interview. Or you can check out one of our reviews from Season 1 of Strange New Worlds or the third season of Picard. All right, see you.